Hey guys, it's me again. Streaming some more Lunar tonight. Starting a little bit late, but... Eh. It's a Tuesday. Not as bad as a Monday, but still not exactly the, the most stellar day of the week. Uh, so yeah, we landed on top of this, uh, plateau. I don't, I don't actually know what it is. But yeah, there's a thing here. And we're probably gonna descend it. <coughs> gotta, be, gotta get my, uh, voice ready. <coughs> what do you think, Hero? Can you find a way into these ruins? I sense an ancient magic in this place. Yes, a magical seal. Are you sure? I have excellent magical skills, and I don't sense anything at all. This is a very old magic. I doubt that any humans could detect it. I will try to remove the seal. I, I, I've never heard that spell used uttered by a human. It was one of the sacred spells. And only Althena herself has the power to wield that magic. Who are you, Lucia? I've already told you, my name is Lucia, and I came from the Blue Star, where I was alone. Quickly, we must enter while the seal remains open. Okay. Hopefully there's a statue in there. I, I'd assume I have to fight my way through this tower or something. I don't know. So what's all this then? Look, look, Hero, over there. I don't know what it is, but I know it's weird. It looks like runic writing. I've seen Grandpa studying symbols like these. This has some sort of magical information stored inside. Let me attempt to access it. Uh, okay. Another cutscene? Sexy lady. Yep. Uh, yeah, that happened in the last game. What was that? I think it was showing the destruction of Vane? Vane, how old is this place? And who stored this here? Very good rhetorical questions, pretty kitty. What worries me is that we might just have seen something we weren't supposed to see. Let's not continue along that line of thinking, Ronfar. I'm already creeped out as it is. The figure in that record was the goddess Althena. We must determine the keeper of these records, Hero. We must know how they were acquired. <laughs> that was a record of my best work. Who's Galleon, I would assume. That's his voice. That man, that, that motherfucker's still around, dude. For 
Fortunately, I now have a chance to surpass it. The world will once again be mine on a delicious half shell. And you can't stop me, Lucia. Okay. So Galleon's here, and he has a weird scar thing on his face. Or whatever it is. Maybe it's a mask? Oh no, it's a dragon. What are we gonna do? He's probably gonna call me a fatty or something. How do you know who I am? Oh, where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I am Galleon. <gasps> Galleon? Uh -oh. Yes, I am the same Galleon that was buried and left a cursed memory. And yet I now live again. Truly, if there is a god of destiny, he is fond of plot twists. <laughs> and so am well, I. Well, I'm not impressed. The time is not yet right for our decisive encounter. We will meet again, dear Lucia. It's our destiny. <laughs> That was Galleon? That's the name of the guy who called himself a magic emperor and tried to destroy the world. It has to be the same person. I mean, how many Galleons do you know, hero? The magic emperor is just an ancient legend, Lemina. You're worried about nothing, again. You know, I read a book about the magic emperor in Grandpa Gwyn's library. It said that Dragon Master Alex defeated Galleon and saved the world. So how strong can he be? Incredibly strong, hero. Galleon was oozing magical power from every pale pore on his face. Whether that guy was the Magic Emperor or not, he's dangerous and creepy. His appearance made me very uneasy as well. And there was something in his eyes. Must be evil! It's probably evil. Yeah, so there's, there's that, I guess. Um, yeah. Not gonna lie, this workout plan is pretty intense. The one that I just bought, or the one that you're doing? Because, uh... I really do not think I'm gonna enjoy any part of this. The The first day of my plan, I, I went and I looked at it. Um, it's basically doing, like, four different activities until, like, failure. Like, push-ups until failure, and then, um... Uh... What were they called? Knee raises to failure, and then something else to failure, and then something else to failure, and then go back to push-ups again to failure. It's just like, oh my god. I mean, at least the the only good thing about the to failure rule is, um, <laughs> in theory, by the time you get to, like, the, the third set or whatever, you're only going to be able to pump out, like, a fraction of what you first did anyways. So at least there's that. You know, but I'm I'm not I'm not gonna look forward to it at all. I think I'm actually gonna test out the the day one tomorrow since I won't be streaming. Um, I was looking at some of the food plan shit. Uh, I'm gonna be substituting a lot of shit there. Like they got stuff like um I'm not even sure some of the shit I can even really get around here. Like they got um. Uh, like I remember seeing something like uh, beef tenderloin and, and 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 shit like that, and, and like for snacks like pickles. Just okay. First of all, I hate pickles. Fuck pickles. I'll I'll eat anything other than that. Oh, okay, they had canned tuna. I'm not a fan of tuna, so that's probably a pass for me too. But uh, yeah. Biggest part of the plan that you actually got is the food. Uh. I mean, technically, you could <laughs> you could say I actually did get off my fat ass a bit tonight because they had kind of a uh, they ca they kind of had like a questionnaire sort of about like what you can handle. Now, certain certain questions I already knew because I I did them sort of with like your plan too. Like it asked like how many push-ups can you do without breaking. I was like, okay, I know it's about 20, so I just hit the the range or whatever, like 20 to 20 to 35 or whatever. 
uh, or the one with the sit-ups, because I've done sit-ups before too, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive I could do 15 at one go. So, but but some of the some of the things they introduced, I literally never heard of. There was one that was, they called it something else. I think they called it a. Uh, I mean, it was basically like a burpee. Uh, what the hell was it called? Standing plank or something? I don't remember. I mean, a pl plank was on there too. And I have done those uh, somewhat before. Um, like, I, I don't know what constitutes, like, failure for that. Because I think just by holding your body up, like, you're supposed to really maintain that form. Like... Like I don't, I don't know if I quite did it, but I, I could last at least a minute. So I, you know, I selected the minute to two minute, you know, intermediary thing. But yeah, I, I did that because I wasn't sure about the plank thing, how long I would survive. So you could say I, I worked out just like an itty bitty bit tonight just to get my shit in order. Uh, I really like how the website is laid out. Like, whoever designed the website, I think they did a good job. It feels like it's about, like... It feels like it's kind of stuck in, like, the 2010s, though. I don't know. It seems a little... I don't know. I mean, it gets the job done. But I, I, I had to refresh the, the page a couple of times to get, like, some of the info loaded in. I don't know if that was just, uh... How the site was operating or... Internet fluctuation or what. I gotta figure out how to get to this shit. Uh, I don't know what any of these things are. Thank God there's a goddess statue just outside of here. We probably want to kill that mask thing first, right? Probably. Oh, fuck it. You might as well use, you might as well use burning rain there. Hit everything. I remember these reflector things from like the last game. I don't know what that green reflector thing does, though. I guess we'll have to find out. Maybe it bounces back magic or something. I don't know. Lady Luck, be kind. Well, they don't seem to do much damage, at least, like six, seven damage. Yay, magic rain. Okay, let's kill the rest of them, I guess. I think it's part of your plan. Should be the increased protein in the diet. Oh, uh, one, one thing I, I made sure of, like there's this like little slider if you wanna if you wanna, if you wanna bulk, or if you wanna lose uh, body weight, despite what I think, uh, I went ahead and I actually just maxed out the bulk, like gaining muscle, because I know you emphasize that quite a lot. Um, I, mean, I, I don't really expect, e even if I like do my hardest, I don't really expect to gain much muscle the next like 45 days or so. I mean, I know it's possible to gain, you know, five, ten pounds of muscle like a month or so, but I just, I, I don't, it's like, well, where that's distributed, you're probably not going to notice it that much. I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm pretty skeptical about my end results, to be honest. I probably should like take like a, a photo every single day, like the, like the badasses do, you know, the gym guys. They're just like, oh, look at all my gains the past month, bro. Also, hey frog, how's it going? I know you're want I knew I know you're wanting some looter tonight, so here I am. You can just do the plan for another 45 after. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I could just I could just repeat it. There's nothing stopping me. Yeah, Frog, uh... Oh, so... Excellent news. I actually took in my, uh... 
I took my car today to the mechanic in, in town. And uh, about lunchtime, he called me. He's like, yo, your car is ready. I was like, okay. A little bit quicker than I thought. Cool. Uh, I went to go check it out. Oh, those... I can't actually hit that thing? Okay. Yeah, I went to go get it. Um, he basically said there's he, he couldn't find anything wrong with it. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. You know, did the oil change just fine, you know? Uh, I, I mentioned to him at the... I, I mentioned to him this morning, I was like, I might have to buy new tires. I don't remember the last time I bought some. Um, he thinks my, my tires will be fine to get through the winter. So... He noticed that the uh, front ones were in better condition than the back ones. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, he, he, he didn't find anything wrong with it. So, yay, I guess? And hopefully the other good news is I should be able to return my car rental tomorrow before I get charged an extra week. Uh, so, yeah. So instead of eight hundred dollars, I should only be wasting about four hundred dollars. All goes well. Man, I'm getting a bunch of silver here. Six hundred, two hundred sixty silver. Damn. Yeah, there's a bunch of these guys here. I'm not even sure where I'm going, honestly. I'm just going on these fucking uh, platforms, pretending like I don't. I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's a chest here. Healing nut. Uh huh. I can put some nuts in my mouth then. You think pumpkin pancakes will be your favorite meal? Pumpkin pancakes? The fuck? I mean, it'll... It'll be something, I guess. I'm actually kind of surprised, like, because I've seen Athlean X's videos before. The, the main, like, star or whatever. I always forget his name. Um, I... I is his name Zach or I don't remember his name. But like the main guy they always got on the videos, you know, with the instructions. Um The guy's ripped to fucking hell and back. Like he, he's definitely a guy to have as your spokesman, goddamn. I mean I know it's his business too, I'm just saying. Um I think it's kinda weird the fact that um there's actually like breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the meals and like some snacks in between and I'm just like well that totally goes against like intermittent fasting and like the dude himself in the videos he admits he only eats like one big meal a day granted he is not the average person by any stretch like I think his body fat percentage is only like fucking like 4% which is insane and that that's actually not even healthy for a human to have um you know, it's not healthy for a bodybuilder to have that either. They do that for the competition, but you're you're meant to have fat on your on your frame, like always. But I'm just kind of uh, I'm somewhat amazed he actually wants people to eat like basically every two hours. It's just like, well, okay, it's it's your it's your plan, whatever. I'm trying to think how I'm gonna work out breakfast. I mean, I could just pre-make it the day before, I guess. Because uh, I typically don't eat until, like, about 10 a.m. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to... We'll have to see. Bits alert didn't go off. You didn't hear it. Oh, did it not? Uh... Did it not go off? I, I guess it didn't. Might have to look into that. Maybe have to reset something. <sighs> Cheered nine bits when you came in. I heard the da 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 da. I should probably have nine bits configured as something just for you, Frog. I, I know I have some other ones configured. Although hardly anyone gives bits, so I, I never really hear it. I know I have a, uh, a Chrono Trigger victory. I know I have that. But again, I, I think I have it set at like 50 bits or something like that. I don't even remember. I think 
think only like two people have ever used it. Because, uh, not a lot of people really, uh, revel in my victory, so, you know. Make it the nine tailed fox voice from Naruto. You mean like the actual spirit that's inside Naruto? Or, li or like the dude that's like, you are the nine tailed fox! Because that's, that's almost meme worthy right there in itself. It's not a bad idea, though. The actual spirit itself? Okay. That'd be kind of cool. Also, uh, yeah, Hero's level 22 now. That's pretty dope. Let's remember to heal everybody, shall we? So we don't fucking die and shit. Uh, I'd kind of like to explore every bit of this place, to, just to make sure I'm not, like, missing out on any juicy loot. Okay, there's a mask over here. I guess we'll fight it. I guess. I guess. All of the... All the turkey is getting swapped out for mine. Fuck that bird. Oh, you're talking about the... Oh, hey Mario, how's it going? How's your Titty Tuesday going right now? Also, we're facing a persona. What is this, Shin, Shin Megami, Megami Tensei or some shit? Some of those snacks, I don't understand, like, um, one of them was actually, like, pickle, turkey wrapped in pickle, and I was like, that sounds fucking disgusting. Like, no offense to anybody who would like that particular combo, but it's just like, what the fuck? Mega Magic Flame! Make the 9 bits alert Asuka saying, are you stupid? If I actually liked that anime, I, I maybe would do it. But I, that'd probably just annoy me, to be honest. Like, that anime is without a doubt a bit overrated. Yay, Ronkvar's leveling up! Oh, that's that's what the snack is? Grilled turkey rabbit pickle? Ugh! Ugh! Uh, uh. That's what I think about that. Fucking gross. I, I, I'd probably rather eat canned tuna than that. I mean, at least you could, um... Uh, can't you, like, uh... I'm trying to think what... Can't you, like, season tuna to make it taste good, or... I'm, I'm probably thinking of another fish. Also, I just got a dream crest, whatever the fuck that is. Let's see who can uh, even wear it. Enable, s enable sleep magic? Uh. Okay, well, the thing is, this thing actually lowers my attack. I don't really want that. I really don't want that for my melee users. I guess I'll give it to Lemina. Mina. No, so I'm hiccuping. Stop it. Oh, Funky is actually starting Arc the Lad tonight. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, Frog, it's fine. You can go watch Funky. I don't really give a shit. Going for about two hours here, so 
Go look up the crest combo. Some are very powerful. I think I'm. I, I think someone mentioned that shit before. Uh, I mean, I'll. I'll play around with it. I think I only have three different crests though. Or two. But uh, I would assume I, I want to get certain ones to make something uber cool. Uber cool. Fight more of these mirror things. So, uh, I actually, uh, got rid of, uh, I could, <laughs> how do I say this without sounding like a fat ass? Um, I eradicated the rest of my cupcakes I made last week for Thanksgiving. They, uh, they've been, they've been sent to a better place, I guess you could say. dead. Now she is dead. Fuck. I fucked up! Fucked up! Hopefully we kill that Dark Knight. Or maybe not. God damn it. Uh, oh, well you have magic to bring her back, don't you? Yeah. Uh, revive Litany. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, baby, yeah! That sounds like an Austin Powers reference, but I don't think it is. Because, like, that series didn't even come out until, like, 2000. So. Alright, did Jean gain a level now? No. Mara's at Mara's asking Dragon what he did with her cactuar thing. Apparently, it's this YouTube video. What if digital could? Hold on a second. What the fuck is this shit? Uh, that looks really gay. I don't even want to look at it now. Don't send me don't send me weird ass videos like that again, Dragon. Those magic bookcase doors are neat. Oh, that was actually for Frog. Oh. Okay. Did you just skip the first, like, 30 seconds? Well, you know you can... Uh, it's not even worth telling you. You'll be like, BITCH! Oh, and apparently you fucked up because Frog says that's the wrong version. You fucked up? Let's kill more of these things here. Duh. Kill more of the Dark Knights, which I can't help but think of uh, Batman when I hear the Dark Knight. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, so, um, I actually put in my last two vacation days for, uh, what would it be, the 14th or 15th? Okay, no, it was the 15th and 16th of December. I put in my last two vacation days, too, to there, because, uh, they don't roll over, so I might as well... 
use him as I got him. And the thing is, like, the... I would have put him in the week after. What, what, would that, what would that have been? The 23rd to 24th? But, I mean, I, I don't... Just in case, like, shit gets really fucking busy towards, like, the end of the year kind of there. That's that's kind of why that's there. Um, yeah. I would imagine I'd be streaming a bunch during those two days. I mean, I can't really think of what else to do in the middle of fucking December. You know? Kill that bitch. Was actually a Hunter Hunter song, by the way. Um, I, I saw something super fucking weird yesterday. Apparently, there's actually a Hunter Hunter mod for Minecraft that like adapts like the first kind of like arc of the of the show, like the Hunter exam, and like learning about Nen and shit like that. And I thought that is pretty cool. See, but I don't fucking own Minecraft. Otherwise, I would check the mod out. But it's like, eh, who even cares about owning Minecraft at this point? Why do that when I can play Terraria and it's like 10 bajillion mods? Which I actually thought about uh, starting one, but it's like, man, these mods take fucking forever to get through anyway. Okay, this probably comes down, right? Yeah. So that mask, I guess, is by itself. Let's tackle the reflector here, I guess. Uh, masquerades, I, I guess that's what the, the masks are called. Wait, can I actually, uh... They're not, a, okay, I guess they're not they're resisting against the butterfly dance, fine. You shoot your shit. Damn it. Okay, that move looks kind of cool. Oh, by the way, I think I learned... Uh, didn't I move? Didn't I learn one of these? I thought I learned one of these spells. Was it Magic Seal? I don't remember. I'm going to try Freezing Claw. I'm just curious what that looks like. Okay, so you really, really debuff my party. Thanks, game. Really appreciate it. Holy shit, Jean takes forever to cast her fucking spell. Ice storm. Well, at least it's strong. Huh. Shakugan no Shana is easily one of your faves ever, and the epic way she tells Yuji he's an idiot is just too good. Interesting. But well, you guys wanna... Oh, this doesn't go anywhere, fuck but... Unless this goes down? No. Okay, then I guess I have to use the right side? Oh, fuck. The thing is, I, I would go back to the goddess statue, but then it would, it would reload all these guys, so... Kinda wish I had an idea of where these things even go. 
like what direction before you step on them. Uh, maybe let's go here, go here to the right, and go down. Oh, Frog, uh, you'll be... You'll be glad to learn that uh, I've actually been reading Brave New World. Um, wow. I think I'm on, like, page... 45 or something? But yeah, so I'm reading it. It's, uh... It's interesting. It's also fairly fucked up. As you might imagine. You'll be smarter once you finish it. I mean, one thing that's kind of interesting is... Um, <laughs> so, the, the way that I understand that their kind of society works is... Um, uh, basically, like, women and men... They're, like, rotated to have sex with one another, I, I guess. Or, like, certain cast of people. Um, and I think it's funny because, like, uh, th there's a conversation between a girl and another girl. And uh, she was, like, basically giving her shit for, like, staying with a man for, like, four months. And not, like, just, you know, hitting the skins and moving on to a different guy or whatever. Because, like I said, they're supposed to be on on rotation and they're not supposed to be in like long term relationships is what the is what the understanding is. Um and just like holy shit, these these dudes in this dystopian, you know, future or whatever, um they're getting laid far, far more than the modern Western man is. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy if you think about it. I mean, regardless as to, you know, the, the quality of, like, these women or whatever, at least they can get action somewhat consistently because they're basically, like, ordered to, I guess, quote-unquote. But, yeah, that was one thing that kind of threw me off when I was reading it yesterday. I was just like, what? Oh, uh, and another thing I thought was really weird is the, uh, the, the women. So, so nobody is allowed in the society to actually, like, um, carry a, a baby to term, you know, in their in their in their uh, you know, in their vagina, in their uterus. Um, so what the female actually does is she takes like chemicals and shit. That's it's more or less like a substitute for a baby. I guess it's supposed to like simulate like the feelings and and gratifica gratification and motherly instincts and all that shit. You know, make her feel good. Um, they call it like a substitute pregnancy or some shit like that. Um, like that's a that's a thing. And apparently they're they're it's mandatory for them to have it at at 21. But there was a girl saying, "Oh, I think I'm gonna do it earlier than that," because the doctor said, you know, "Oh, Burnett's, you know, blah blah blah." It's just like, what the fuck? It's it's a really what the fuck kind of book. Like I, that's part of the reason I. I'm, uh, I keep reading it just to see how crazy it gets. Oh, and the other thing is they, they, uh, they, like, basically worship, uh, uh, Henry Ford. I don't, I don't really know why, but they do. Like, like, Henry Ford's, like, a really, really important figure to them. Also, hey, Tara, how's it going? But yeah, it's, uh, it's a very strange world that they live in. Why would you not worship Henry Ford? Well, I mean, he wasn't like a flawless human being by any stretch, you know. I mean, if you want to worship Henry Ford, you go ahead, Dragon. I don't give a fuck. Better than worshiping Gerald Ford. Lady yeah, I'd probably give you that. I, I don't know. I, I think maybe I'd rather worship Harrison Ford than Henry Ford. Unless there's some shit I don't know about Harrison Ford. I still can't believe that guy is so fucking old and he's still picking. It's like, holy shit. Uh, did they, um... 
Uh, did they even try to get him for that Indiana Jones 5 movie? Did that even come out yet? I, I don't even know if it came out. But like, that, that dude, that, I mean, that dude's way, way too old uh, to act. I'm surprised they even got him in fucking Crystal Skull, honestly. God damn it, now I gotta think about it. How old is he? He, he has to be at least in his 70s. Okay, yeah, he is, he's 80 years old. Holy fuck. God damn. Wait, what? Uh, it's, hold on. They actually have him in Indiana Jones 5? They, they, they have him listed as a cast member. What the fuck? He's 80 years old, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, no shit, Frog. They ought to call this movie Indiana Jones and the Nursing Home of No Return. It doesn't have a title yet. It's just called Indiana Jones 5 right now. God damn. Oh, this was a, this is a dead end. I mean, we, we could probably think of... I mean, there's probably already memes made about it. About the different titles this movie could have since Henry... Since Harrison Ford is so fucking old. Oh, you made a pickaxe of Earth and Song? Nice dragon. That is pretty good. Remember that Henry Ford was a Nazi fan? Yeah, I... I, I do remember hearing that he was uh, anti-Semitic. So... Not exactly a... Uh, hasn't exactly aged well, has it? Meet anyone? Uh, what are you talking about, Terra? Have I, have I met anyone? So was Woodrow Wilson, Walt Disney, and a lot of other people at the time. I didn't know about Ro I, I I didn't know Woodrow Wilson was uh was about that kind of shit. I knew Disney was. Hell, I heard he even made a. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. I think that was a different company. Uh, let's see. These enemies are going deep shit, bro. Stop it. Let's see what else has been going on. Um, actually, you know what I should do? You know what I should do that Thursday and Friday? If I get approved, which I would hope I will. Uh, I should try to finish that um, Pokemon Crystal... Uh, Crowd control. I had a I had a good time with that. I'll probably impose like uh, certain rules, but I'll probably get rid of certain things to allow you guys to just fuck with, fuck with me. Like I, I'll probably throw all my escape ropes out, just so you guys can see me struggle. If you want to send me to fucking uh, I don't know, like the Diglett Cave or some nonsense like that. Reflector, fuck you, mask. Fuck you, other mask. I don't know how long this place is. Wait, oh. I don't think I've been up there, have I? Yeah, I, I, I know this is the way out. I just, I want to get that thing to the left. that was the thing I already got before. Everything looks the same in this room, people. 
I was actually playing Terraria yesterday. I just, I you know, I, I saw some videos of it on YouTube, and I was like, eh, I wouldn't mind getting some of those trophies, you know? Fuck it. Wait a sec. Okay, yeah, yeah, I have been to that room. I've been to that room. Because I remember I got I got a healing nut in that left room. Okay, we we can we can move on here. Yeah, there was this really annoying achievement I was I was doing yesterday. It probably took about two hours. Um, there are different like biomes in Terraria, and there is this an achievement for trying to clear out a like this evil biome in the game. You know, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to do this. So, and there's like kind of like a purification process, like a tool you can get to try to, to try to cleanse the the game. Um, what I did is I got that, I started a new world, um, I, I did what I needed to do to complete the achievement. You actually needed an NPC to be there. But I did that, um, I, I, lo I located the corrupted, uh, environment, and I basically, like, kind of, like, made, like, a safe spot, you know, like, uh, like 10 feet or so, so it wouldn't like spread to any other blocks of the world. And I took the tool and I basically like fucking sweeped it. Like I was a goddamn exterminator or some shit. And uh, that took a bit. I missed a, a few spots here and there, but I, I combed over it once again. Combed over it. And I, I swear, like, it was... I, I was convinced I was missing like the littlest pixel of that like corruption shit. Because every time I talk to the NPC to get the confirmation, because uh, there's an NPC that like will check the world to see if it's like pure, or how what percentage it is like corrupted with evil. Um, she kept on saying, "Oh, it's it's at one percent, it's at one percent, blah blah blah." I'm just like, "Oh my fucking god!" So what I ended up doing, this is how great the internet is. You could actually take the file from the, uh, you can take the world file. Um, and you can upload like the map to it to a certain website and it'll actually like show you everything that's on the map and what you can do is there's a feature where you can select certain types of like tiles or blocks or objects and you can just hit the highlight button and it'll show you like in uh, like a white kind of highlighted box like all the things that you selected on the map and sure enough my thing basically glitched up so where it was showing like a bunch of corrupted tiles in a place where they shouldn't even be there. Um, so I was fairly pissed off about that, but I was able to get those two or two, three or five spots left in that area and uh, I got the achievement. That shit took uh, about two hours because I was trying to do it like the, the really legit way, but game decided to fuck me over, so yeah, it's just lovely. I realize nobody gives a rat's ass about what I did in Terraria. But that's fine. Just curious, is fucking streaming right now? Happy hour! Oh shit, a bunch of people are streaming now, holy fuck. Fucking eight people are streaming right now, or, or six. It's nuts. It's playing the Dark Souls 3 action, that's pretty dope. I'll rate her probably when I can, uh, I mean, I'd rather see Dark Souls 3 than Ark the Lad, I mean, uh, it's a series I'll probably check out at some point. Because, uh, that's kind of the... Isn't that the shit that's related to fucking Landstalker that I played on the Genesis? It was either Ark the Lad or, um... Or, uh... Alundra. I think it was Alundra. Either way. Kill the rest of these bitches here. I have a sign there's probably gonna be a uh, boss at the end of this shit. I had to guess. Let's get our happy. 
DPS is up here. Maybe get that chest, or maybe, maybe not. Maybe we won't get it. Uh, fuck. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, get back on the tile. Uh, I'm, still here. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna fight you guys. Fuck that. I don't got time for that. I don't know if I went a different direction. No, this is literally the only way to go. Oh wait. 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 I'm gonna go just north of here. Oh. Um, I swear you have to fight fucking everything, don't ya? Or is this go just up? Well, I pretty much walked into that fight, whatever. Fine. Just, just take a lot normally, I guess. I guess. Getting kind of worried because I'm running a bit low on uh, magic for Lamina. And fuck that green magic thing that thing does. I don't know what it's supposed to be. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy when uh when Lucia actually becomes fucking useful in battle. Cause this shit's starting to get pretty annoying with her just like tucked in the corner, like not contributing at all. Yay! Lamina gained a level. Flame morphs into flame shot, kick ass. I I'm kinda liking the feature that certain like spells will just kinda like upgrade instead of you getting a new one. I think that's kinda neat. Okay, now I can get that chest. Good, good. What do we got? Flame staff. I'm sure that will be useful. Also, hey, Eternally Blue TV, how are you doing tonight? Hope you have a lot of patience. Uh, that has me a little bit uh, nervous. Now that you say that, I mean, I I hope that this tower isn't that long, but I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's not because we're still at the early point of the game. Well, then again, I mean, we are getting to early 20s now. Oh, you were talking about my Lucia comment? Well, it's just like... Like, her, her character is, is fine and all, and I understand, like, the context of, like, the story. You know, she had, like, her powers stripped away from her. But it's like, she literally does whatever the hell she wants. She, she can't gain a level. She can't get experience. Um, I can't control her actions. And she doesn't have any MP. I mean, I, I, I guess her MP is, like, infinite. If she can... She just kind of, like, retaliates every now and then and just runs in a corner. That's all she does. It's like, bruh. Like... When, when are we going to fix this? I guess I don't know quite where I'm going. I'd like to go to the right side of this to maybe get... Uh, I can probably take the reflector on. I have no idea which direction these things go, so it's just kind of like... Uh, let's probably take down that uh, reflector thing first, right? Explosive fiery attack? Uh, just... Yeah, just use an ice pick, whatever it can take him down. 
because I noticed that upgraded uh, flame attack. Uh, that that costs double the MP now, so gotta kind of conserve that a little bit more. Take down that green thing, thank you. Because that was gonna do like a green cum shot of death at me, and I, I I wasn't having it. Let's use ice prick, I guess. Ice storm. What does that do against him? Okay, it's a one hitter. Okay. Power. Now you see, if Lucia casted like a magic barrier, like on the whole party, that would have been a good move. Even if I didn't control it, at least it it's helping, you know, kinda. Hey, why don't you actually attack? I don't think I need another spell from you. Direct. Direct mirror, direct mirror. Right now it's just an escort mission. Well, it kind of reminds me of some other games, you know, like uh, well, a couple. Final Fantasy X, you could technically say that's like an escort mission. Uh, Tales of Symphonia, that's an escort mission. I mean, they're both going on like a, both of the females in those games are going on like a pilgrimage, you know. Uh, I, I remember when I was younger, like I was, I was, I was almost like a fanboy, almost of like Final Fantasy X. And when I first played Tales of Symphonia, I kept on unfairly uh, like a parent, like saying like, "Oh, this is just like an inferior Final Fantasy X." Blah, 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 blah. Now I definitely think that X is a better game than Symphonia, but. I think I, you know, it, it's, it's probably just because Yuna was, like, way hotter than Colette. That was probably, it. you know, my 17-year-old teenage mind or whatever. No, actually, no, I think I was younger than that. When did I play Symphonia? Uh. No, uh, probably about 16 or 17, so... Boy, that was a while ago. Let's go ahead and annihilate all these things so we can feel better about ourselves. Use anger dice, why not? Just to be different. Actually, you know what? You gotta use burning rain. Lady Luck, be kind! Yeah, I'm sure it won't. Was that a four? That was shit. I kind of wonder if that anger dies. Does that scale up with, like, anything? Like, any one of Ronfar's stats? Or is that the same throughout the entire game? I mean, maybe when your level is higher, the, the angry dice will, like... Will, like, just like the dice roll outcome will be like a little bit higher, you know, like on average. I'm getting sick of this bitch using that mask move on us. Fucking dumb. Correct. Da, 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 da. Mina is, all, is also more interesting than her ancestor. Um, I like her hair color. I like her hair color better than... Um, uh, shit, I'm trying to remember what her name was. Not Jessica. She was the priestess, the blonde priestess with like a tomboy thing. Jessica... Mia. Mia. Yeah. I have no idea why I forgot her name. Of course, there's a bunch of dudes here that are probably gonna gang rape me, but I'm not gonna have it. Okay, 
right, now we can get through here. Hopefully, there's a goddess statue pretty close by. Hopefully. Aside from her bare ass in the bath, Mia was forgettable. I mean, I... I doubt, even with all of her bromides, I doubt I would think too much higher of her. I'll tell you what, I would have loved more bromides of, um... Of Luna in her, like, sex outfit, you know? The goddess outfit, you know? Showing, like, everything. Practically. Like, that would've been sick. Where the fuck does this go? Oh, this just, this just goes back to this corner, I guess. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Damn it. I knew I had to face that reflector. Shit. Okay, one more of these, I guess. You know what, Ronfar? Shit. Gene is really low on HP. You better use that combo me on everybody. Uh, use Magic Prick to take down one of those masks. Say he's probably gonna say happy hour again because he thinks he's cool or he thinks he's a fucking Sonic. Alright, I got two more of these bitches here. Actually, you know what? Let's throw a heart bitch in here. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, baby, quote of his. Oh, that's, that is actually from Austin Powers? Like, I speculated that, but I was like, well, this game came out. The thing I planned ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, what the hell? Um, this game came out before Austin Powers did. I'm pretty sure. At least originally. Because I remember Austin Powers being like a really late 90s, 2000s kind of series. Oh, okay. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. <laughs> that was 97. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Have I actually watched all three of those movies? The Spy Who Shanghaied Me, that was 99. And then Gold Member was 2002. Uh, I know I watched one of these not too long ago. I think it was the spy who shanghaied me. Yeah, I, I definitely remember them when I was uh, younger. Yeah, if he said "Yeah, baby," then yeah, it, that movie came out in '97, so it could it, it could have gotten inspiration from this. Spy who shagged me? Oh, did I say Shanghai? I'm sorry. <laughs> that, uh, that didn't make sense. Frog is so disappointed! What the fuck? Oh, there's a bunch of fairies here. I was like, uh, what's what's all this? This is the first time we have been, been been visited by someone other than Galleon. Please promise me that you won't tease these tease the fairies. They're sensitive creatures, you know. What 
the fuck is that supposed to imply? They can handle a little teasing. If you tease the fairies, you will, you will incur the wrath of Galleon. And that will certainly suck for you. Master Galleon possesses a wondrous magical power. Just how wondrous is it? Legend has it that the goddess Althena once bowed to it. You mean to say that Galleon controlled the goddess herself? That cannot be true, because if it was... Uh -huh. Master Galleon is very cute when he's taking a nap in the garden. But he's even cuter when he smiles at me. He doesn't smile very much, though, so I can do what I can to make him happy. Uh huh. Do you wish to go outside and leave the garden? The door to the south is the exit. But you must know how to open the magic lock, and only Galleon knows the word. No one is more skilled with magic than him. I was all alone in the world. I had no friends, no family. Then I was found by Master Galleon. He brought me here. If I had not met the Master, I would have been alone for the rest of my life. I love Master Galleon. He gave me friends and, bought, and brought me so much happiness. that you heard. Master Galleon died once, but he came back to life. Isn't that wonderful? It is impossible. There's no magic in the world which can resurrect the dead. Not even the goddess Althena could perform such an act. It is against the laws of nature. Well, fuck the laws of nature. How about that? Long ago, dear Galleon strived to rule the world. But he was defeated by the Dragon Master, the protector of the goddess Althena. Galleon was very sad when he told us that story. Well, tough shit. Oh, all of you are humans. I have heard many stories about humans. But this girl is different from the rest of you. She doesn't look the same. What are you, blue-haired girl? Where did you come from? Yeah, she didn't say anything. Master Galleon said that this world would be destroyed soon. That is why he made this secret garden and brought us here. He said we'd be safe here forever. I don't understand. If Galleon is supposed to be so evil, why does he care about these fairies? Evil? Galleon is not evil. He is our protector. Doesn't he protect you too? Uh, because Galleon is like Link, and he likes to hang out with fairies. That's why, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he has a fairy fetish. I wouldn't doubt it. This door is held with very old and powerful magic. I will try to remove this spell. Do it. Damn it. <laughs> if the man named Galleon was able to open this door, he must have used a sacred spell. But the sacred spells cannot be used by humans. Only Althene and I have that ability. Okay. Well, later, bitches. So, uh, yeah. I'm glad we made it out of there. I, I was glad that, uh, that place was only, like, three stories, so. Cool. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we didn't face a boss in there. So, uh, yeah, where the hell we go now? Oh, there's a, what? Oh, shit, it's probably Leo again, isn't it? Oh, no, it's the... Did I not try to find Galleon? I, I, I talked to him at the top of the tower and then he just fucked off. Well, was there a scene that I missed or something? I sincerely hope you enjoyed my little, my little detour. You cannot escape the power of the dragon ship destiny. The chase ends here. He's right. One blast of the dragon cannon and it's over. I must fight Lucia? I must accomplish my mission, hero. I cannot surrender. If I give up now, you and your world will suffer for eternity. I don't see how I'll profit from being Mega Blast into a cloud of vapor, Lucia. All right. I'll fight with you, Lucia, to the death. Hero. Fucking idiot. You're only level 22, bruh. 
never underestimate the power of Lady Luck, hero. I'm willing to fight. I knew that following you guys was a mistake, but not finding Leah would be a bigger one. Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't we surrender instead of getting ourselves slaughtered? Whatever you are discussing among yourselves is a moot issue, don't you understand? My given task is to execute Lucia before she destroys us all. And know that I have both the will and the resources to carry out that task. Acquire targets, prepare to fire! I surrender, don't shoot! I'm too young and beautiful and blonde to die! Cease your pathetic begging, and go to your graves with a shred of dignity. Dragon Cannon fought! What the hell? Ah, Lucia the Destroyer is going to kill us all. Please help us, Lord Leo, please. You pathetic morons. There is no danger from Lucia, because Althena will protect us. You are proud warriors of the goddess. Stand firm and you will not, and you will be impervious to harm. Oh, fuck. Nice. I guess uh, Rama was uh, on our side here today. Just decided to strike that bitch. Lord Leo, are are you are you dead? This magic is very powerful. Could it be that? I mean, Galleon could have done it. He's got big dick magic powers. Yeah, it was him for some reason. challenge Leo to a duel. That's how I would expect that to go down. I mean, maybe like to be kind of epic or something and as a cliffhanger. Maybe we go, uh, maybe maybe we 1v1 him like at the end of disc 1 or something. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Why did that man Galleon save us? I do not understand his motivations. Lord Leo has been wounded. We must retreat at once and tend to his injuries. Keep the dragon cannon aimed at Lucia and ready to fire. Don't take your eyes off her sexy ass. They, they didn't say sexy ass, but they, they might as well have. I don't know what that was all about, but we're saved. I know he's a big jerk and all, and I hope Leo's okay. Whatever hit him must have really hurt. Leo will be fine, pretty kitty. White knights tend to bounce back really quick, pretty quickly. He's taken worse than that and survived, so let's get out of here while we have the chance. Yay! We did it! Uh, let me go ahead and save real quick. Uh, I... Let me actually... I mean, I, I doubt I missed a bromide, but let me actually bring up that, uh... Oh, uh, shit. I thought I had a tab, up, tab open for that. Hold on. Um, uh, okay, it looks like the next one is... Looks like the next one is in Moravia, so okay. Pretty sure that's kind of close, isn't it? I don't know. Whatever. Oh yeah, I came from that cave, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, so since the since the ship can't follow us, we can actually go to the west side of this town now, right? What was this called? Noda or some shit? I'm gonna fondle that. I'm gonna fondle the hell out of that goddess statue, I'll tell you what. Um uh, I'm pretty sure we bought whatever we could from this, uh, from the stand, right? 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying this. I think there is just the one sword here. Yeah, broadsword. Okay. Cool. Uh, just because I, I want to try to get through uh, Lunar 2 in the next... Uh, well, shit, it's going to be December in just two days. Uh, I'll probably be streaming Lunar 2 on Thursday. Just FYI. When the Dragon Ship Destiny showed up, uh, fire the might destroy the bridge. The bridge is the only link between West and East Noda. They were severely co Covered completely, we'd all be in a world of hurt. Most importantly, this is the place where my wife and I were married. Aw, oh, that's cute. Yay, we crossed the bridge. Noda has some great shops, but this but the city of Moribia has the best shop of them all. It's run by a young guy named Ramus. But you must know that. He and his family are famous. Okay, there's no way that's the same Ramus from the previous game. I guess it's just a, a common name from his, like, descendants or whatever. It's the goal of every merchant in Noda to achieve the level of success that Ramus has. I'll tell you what, he's, he I doubt his family's a su successful in combat, judging from the last game. I hope you people aren't planning on a trip to Moribia anytime soon, because it ain't gonna happen. The village of Zuhan, or I'm sorry, Zulan is buried in snow, and the trail to Moribia is impassable. Sucks, don't it? All I can do is stay here until the snow melts, or you find yourself one mother of a shovel. Okay. Neat. All think this guard is offering a cash reward for information leading to the rest and execution of... Lucia the Destroyer, which has come here from the Blue Star to murder our world. Hero a... <laughs> Hero a pillager of ruins with two green tattoos under his left eye. His eyes are hair... His, his eyes and hair are brown. Ronfar, a gambler and swindler from the town of Larpa, age 45. Ronfar is 45? I didn't fucking know that. Holy shit. I, I thought he was, uh... I thought he was, uh... Like... 31 or 2. I had no idea he was in his 40s. His eyes and hairs are also his eyes and hair are also brown. They're accompanied by a fine pink cat named Unknown. These fugitives are considered to be extremely dangerous. If you see them, notify the guard at once. Sure. This is my first time in Dota, and I have to say that I prefer this side of the town. It seems a little less crowded to me. There aren't those of the creek. God damn it, stop yawning, bruh. And there are any of these, uh, there are any of those freaks from Althena's Chosen. I don't understand why anyone would go into their shrine and pray to the goddess. When West Noda has perfectly, has a perfectly good statue of Althena that's free for anyone to use. Well, uh, cultural differences, that's why. Uh, I don't understand why anyone would join the Chosen when it's quite obviously a cult and a scam. It sure seems that way, doesn't it? Well, miss, a woman as lovely as yourself deserves a jewel, which is equally stunning. Care to see it? Is it beautiful? For mere one million silver, it is also a wonderful value. Now shall you be paying for it. A million silver? No rock in the world is worth so ma so that much. It may be a cliche, miss, but in my experience, it always holds true. You get what you pay for. You should think of the expense as a guarantee of quality. Yeah, that's a fucking sucker's game, bruh. Uh... Well, I'd love to stop and chat, but I have a full day of buying and selling ahead of me. Two quick questions before you split. What are you buying and what are you selling? Well, I buy goods here in West Noda and go across the bridge to sell them in East Noda. Then I buy goods in East Noda and sell them to West. It's profitable and good exercise. Hey, hey there ain't nothing wrong with that, bud. As long as it's all legal and, and moral. I don't see a problem with that. Just between you and me, I'm the brother of the man who owns the tavern in East Noda? Oh. It's not that I'm embarrassed about it. My brother is a great man and sells great brews. Gr great, great booze, not brews. It's that West and East Noda don't get along like they used to, but it wasn't always that way. 
Have you heard the story about the bridge between the two sides of Noda? Yeah, every wedding in Noda was held out on the bridge. Bridge symbolized the eternal connection between the two halves. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Tradition died along with her relationship. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> this guy talks about a different tune, apparently. Apparently, the, the people of West Noda value law and order, and the people of East Noda favor, well, anarchy. Has to be a common round we can find. There has to be some way to reunite our town. Yeah. Got anything else to say? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, but my boss, and, my, my boss and I have some important matters to discuss. Matters that don't involve you. Do you want to talk? Let's talk later. Now, if you'll excuse me. Listen up now. The last guy I sent down a LARPA. Well, he didn't do what I told him to do. I had to teach him a harsh lesson about doing what you're told, and I don't like teaching. I want you to buy what I need from the old man in LARPA, and at the price I told you to pay. He's going to try and haggle with you. See? But you will not haggle with him. Do you understand? If you do understand, then you're ready to go. Don't let me down. Uh... Yeah, good luck with that. Because Noda is a central trading point, tradesmen come here from all over the world, exchanging rumors, gossip, and other information. This tavern is where the exchanges take place. For example, I just heard that all things chosen are serving a false goddess. Weird, isn't it? The merchants of East Noda are envious of this tavern. Their pubs are too loud to conduct business. Hello and welcome to our tavern. I don't recognize you too. Is this your first time here? We only have a few rules here. The most important of them all is to speak quietly. We have many traders conducting business with each other. They can't do that with excessive noise. The fuck is this, a library? Or a fucking museum? I, pause, I apologize for sounding like a scolding mother. I'm just doing my job, you know? Yeah, but it's like, this is a bar, dude. Uh, I always enjoy coming into this tavern. It's a place where everyone, everybody knows your name. They're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see. Our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everyone knows your name? Well, at least I do. I just enjoy the fact that the beer is extremely cheap. Huh. There's a boy from East Noda who comes to my shop every so often to shop for his mother. He's kind of an ugly little bug, bug, bugger, but he's cheerful to a fault. I can't help but like him. I just hope the kid gets a little better looking as he gets older. Because if he doesn't, the only way he's getting a woman is with a mail-order bride service. Oh, shit. I'm sure some snarky person will be like, Oh, that's how FML's gonna get a bride. Uh, that's a theme song for Cheers. Uh, I guess another, another clever reference there. But yeah, I've never, uh, I've never seen it. Uh, and I, I don't plan to. Did that shit run for like fucking seven seasons? I, I have no idea how I could, how a show could, could have that concept and roll with it for that long. Where everybody knows your name. Huh. It's, it's probably an okay, okay show. I just, I don't know. 90 sitcoms, like. Uh, I'm trying to think an actual, of an actual good 90s sitcom. Uh, I, I mean, I guess technically Boy Meets World was in the 90s, right? That's the only one I could think of that I actually would say I enjoyed. Like in the day, I used to watch a lot of, um, uh, what was it? I think... I'm pretty sure I... Oh, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I watched that. And Full House. Um, and I think... Did they have Family Matters on Nick at Night back in the 90s? I don't remember. Don't remember. But yeah, those two, I, I watched a pretty fair amount of that back in the day. I don't really remember much of... Fresh Prince, though. Like, the actual episode contents, but... Huh. There's probably one more show I, ju I just don't remember. Because, like, most of the sitcoms that I watched when I was a kid were on, uh, were on, uh, 
Nickelodeon at like Nick at Night, you know. And and that's how also how I saw saw like much older shows, you know, like like Gilligan's Island and uh, um, what else did they? Didn't they have I Love Lucy on Nick at Night? I thought they did. Anyway, <laughs> looking to our finest armor shop here in West Noda, with prices the East <laughs> the East can't match. How can I help you? Well, well, let's see what you got. So you got okay, you got some shit that they don't actually have. We're, we're gonna get this uh, silver hairpin, I guess. Well, we're gonna get it for Lamina because apparently this hairpin is not good enough for Jean to wear. So. for her. Wait. Oh, okay. Priest clothes for Ronfar. Okay. But is that actually... Okay, yeah. Magic defense is up. And regular defense is up. Okay. Sure, we'll buy it, I guess. Uh, iron armor? Don't... I thought you already had iron armor. Oh, whatever. We can buy it. Uh, now we can't really afford much else. Oh shit, there's a silver sword there. Hold on. Hold on a second. Put on your, uh... Put that on. One of those priest clothes. Hairpin. Oh shit, I forgot I even had that flame staff. Well, let's sell that magic staff. Sell the two chain mails. Sell the hairband. Uh, flame staff. That would be for. Yeah, yeah Lemina. Yeah, let's get rid of the flame staff. I, I assume that just is that just is fire damage instead of wind damage. Let's see, 22, 71. Okay, we can still buy. We should be able to buy the rest of this. Get the silver sword here. Yeah. Good for you. Ah, uh, shit. We actually don't have enough for everything. Uh. Who needs this shit more, I guess? Uh, I guess we'll get a silver ga gauntlet for... Let me know. Uh, yeah, we only have... barely have any silver left now. Okay, forget it then. I guess I could sell the broadsword, can I? Sell broadsword, sell iron gauntlet. Eh. We'll just buy the silver bracelet for uh, Ron Far there. Sell the other one and then we'll move on. I guess we could technically afford the other one. Yeah, I know, Frog. I'm selling my old shit, don't you worry. I'm still gonna have like barely enough though, but it's like, well, if I need to buy items, I don't want to have zero silver. So that iron bracelet, 641 silver. Uh... Yeah, okay, I, I think I could just barely equip everyone here. Yeah. So we got for Jean, so both the bees, he's got one. Well, both the human beesies. What? Oh, they can actually wear the silver gauntlet too? Well, I mean, it doesn't even matter. I think it has the same defense bonuses anyway. Okay. Careful out there and keep us in mind for all your armor needs. Okay, now I'm equipped it. Let me 
I'll just save real quick after that fucking ordeal. What else we got here? Um, let's go down the stairs. Sorry, kids, but I can't sell you any of my stuff. Then why do you have all your stuff on display, Brainiac? Because this stuff is reserved for my best customers, Sassy Cat. Well, also, it, it could be, like, adult stuff, you know, like alcohol and, you know, sex toys and aphrodisiacs and crazy shit like that. He's probably selling dildos in a sack. He's just, he just hides in the corner. I bet that's what it is. Wow, well, what do you want? Uh, we were hoping to maybe have a little conversation if that's not too scary for you. Well, I absolutely do not have any money that my boss gave me to take to his house. And I'm not at all nervous about having so much money because I don't have it, okay? Alright, dude, whatever. Yeah, that's probably... That guy's probably hoarding all the good bromides in the game. I bet that's what it is. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, those, those goddamn kids probably want this good shit. I'm gonna have to hide it from them. <laughs> it couldn't be any more perfect. I'll have both sides of note under my control. I'll be married to the hottest chick in town. And I'll be rich for the rest of my days. Oh, uh, are you looking to buy something? I'm sorry, but I can't help you right now. I'm too busy preparing for my wedding. Heh <laughs> 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 Julie is the most beautiful girl in Noda. And she's going to be sleeping in my bed. Every bachelor in Noda is jealous of me. And I honestly can't blame them. I mean, just look at me. I've been gifted with incredible charm, dashing good looks, and natural leadership. And now I'm marrying the drop-dead gorgeous daughter of the mayor of East Noda. I just can't stop laughing at my good fortune. <laughs> okay. It wasn't hard to convince Julie to marry me. She knows the two halves of Noda need to reunite. She knows that her wedding will do that. She's the daughter of East Noda's mayor, after all. Getting to see her unclothed each night is merely a wonderful perk. <laughs> Okay, now she just, uh, he just repeats himself. He's an even bigger, an even bigger douche than Nash. Well, guess we gotta do something about that, huh? Let's kill him. Hey, there's a chest in the corner. Let me grab that chest over there. And it has a herb. Okay, cool. Herby chest. Uh, most of the people in Noda are only interested in one topic, and that's how to make money. Oh, so you're like, um, those fucking entrepreneur channels I keep seeing on YouTube then. Which makes sense, since most people here are traders, but it makes for boring conversations. I visited East Noda in search of intellectual stimulation, but it's the same way over there. My brother has complained about Noda since we moved here, and especially about the high prices. But since he doesn't want to move, I'm pretty sure he just likes to complain. Even if, and even if he did move, I'd stay behind, because I like it here, high prices and all. Even if the cost of living in Noda concerns you, why not relocate to Vane? I can get, I can get you and your brother into a rent-controlled dwelling, for a finder's fee, of course. The folks on the west side of the river sell items that are a lot nicer than the goods of the east. But the merchants in East Noda are a lot more willing to bargain than the ones in West Noda. And the shops in West Noda aren't as crowded as the ones over here, even if they're not even if they're more expensive. I'd shop in West Noda a lot more if the, these opportunities would stop inflating their prices. Opportunists. Uh apparently I just grabbed some peasant clothing? Okay. I don't know what that could be used for. Welcome to West Noda, strangers. If you're leaving soon, you should stock up on supplies. It's a long and treacherous road from here. Be prepared. Just because I don't own a shop don't mean I don't have the best items at the best prices. I mean, you're not technically wrong. Uh, yeah, we still can't get an angel's tier because we don't have a thousand. Fuck. Um, I don't recall using any purity herbs, cleansing waters... Or vitality vials, so I think we're probably good on items here. Uh, let me double check. Ten herbs, two healing nuts, one passion fruit, a life jewel, these starlights, one silver light, dragonfly wings, six purity herbs, 
Three holy waters, seven vitality vials. Eh, maybe a couple of holy waters wouldn't be a bad idea. Lay on a, lay on a couple of holy waters. Or cleansing water, I guess it's called, yeah. That's fine. With the Monjean. What will that do? Oh, I I think I might understand what the idea is here. Hold on a sec. Maybe the point is to get Jean to look poor, uh, so that that one dude will try to marry her because she's like hotter, I guess, than the other chick. Maybe that's the idea. I can't believe this. Julie is meant to be with me, but I heard that she's pledged her love to Romeo. He might be the mayor of West Noda, but he's also an evil swine. Romeo doesn't love her like I do. His motivations for being with her are purely political. Her father is the mayor of East Noda. Why doesn't she realize that she's being used? Why won't she stand up for herself? Why won't she suck my pee-pee? Ooh, a life jewel. Uh, is this an old lady? Yeah. Long ago, when West and East Noda were united, we had many customs and celebrations. Weddings were held on the bridge between West and East, and there were festivals almost every week. Boy, that sounds like a party. But the two sides of Noda have grown apart over time, and the celebrations have stopped. Also, there's a statue here. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Uh, let's see if this does anything. Yeah, I feel like this is supposed to be used for, like, an actual, like, story-related quest later. Let me swap those clothes back. I mean, I don't know if anyone can wear the... Them peasant robes. Yeah, anyone can wear them. Um, yeah, we'll have to see what that's all about later. After we leave Noda, we should head north, hero. It's a pretty good stretch to Az Azado, but I'm sure we can make it. And since Azado is a port of call, we can sail them from the we can sail from there to the holy city of Pentagulia. Okay. You say so. Just check what time it is. Uh, if you give me a sec, I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
back. Now going to resolve the Romeo and Julia subplot. Uh, I mean, am I supposed to go to freaking Julia on the east side of Noda? Because I was, I was talking to the douchebag that, uh, that was trying to, you know, get married to her. I mean, if it's a good reward I get out of it, I'll, I'll try it. Again, I guess on Gene. Uh, I'm trying to remember where is that girl again. Uh, uh, I think it's that house down there. Is this, is this right? Yeah, it is it. Da da da. -da. Never seen your Julie so sad. It's like she's on the verge of tears. Blah blah blah. Uh -huh. uh, her parents are saying the same exact shit as before. That's why I'm not reading it. Daughter of Mary. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Let me interrupt, lady, but why are you staring at that crystal? This is the mem this is the rememberizer crystal. When you hold it, you can revisit your most precious memories. Well, that sounds pretty fucking nice. And there are certain memories which I can't stop watching. Oh, Kyle. We're supposed to be talking to Kyle uh, in that alley then, and something will happen. Okay, her father said uh, he purchased the ring. Capture and replay the memories of whoever is holding it. That's cool. Wife says, Oh, blah blah blah. Let's see, watch all the cutscenes you've experienced. Maybe that's the reward for doing this. I mean, I'll, I'll go talk to, I guess, Romeo now and see if there's anything different. I know he's just under the bridge on the west side here because he was the one bitching about them getting married just a bit ago. I thought, I assumed Romeo was the name of, like, the the guy she was, like, infatuated with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking this up. Uh, da -da, be married to the hottest chick in town, blah, 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 we can buy something. Every bachelor, he just says the same shit, so I don't know what he's... I don't know how to proceed here. I mean, I'll look it up if I have to. I don't, I'm not seeing any different dialogue. Or do you still? No. 
<laughs> I'm kind of tempted. Well, I doubt it has any advice for this farther in the game. Uh, let me let me grab the the manual and look at the mini walkthrough, just so I don't. Maybe I can save a step. Okay, yeah, it, uh, <laughs> the mini walkthrough doesn't really go that far at all. Like, it pretty much only goes until, like, um, you've gotten Lucia and you're, you're already on the boat, like, traveling to, to, like, LARPA. Like, where you met freaking, um, Ron Farr. Guess I'm doing good old Google here. to type this out. Juliet and Romeo cycling? Uh, I've not even seen anything really related to this in the walkthrough. Maybe I really am supposed to just come back here later or something. I don't know. Let me let me let me make a, a second save slot here. I guess. Romeo and Julia and Noda. Maybe it's because I don't have Noda. Things I'm getting are stuff about Romeo and Juliet. That's definitely not right. Yeah, I'm not. Can't seem to find it. We... Lunar True Eternal Blue. I'll look at an actual game fact. Game facts walkthrough then. I'd rather not, because I might be potentially spoiling a bunch of shit just by typing in the shit. Okay, well, it, there's nothing in Julia. What about Romeo? Okay. But Julia in quotes, I just did. I went control F on this walkthrough and I typed in Julia. Didn't work. No matches. Are you sure this is a side quest, Prog? Because I'm beginning to think this is not... How do they spell it? In the actual game? Uh... J U L I A. You did it way back when? 
Let me try typing in the town name and maybe it'll have like a thing about it. Noda. Okay, here East Noda. Da da da. I mean, there's, there's not much. You just toss. After the West Node, it's just talking about the next town, which I'm not going to read because I haven't been there yet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with this supposed quest. I'm beginning to think there is no quest. It's just it is what it is. I don't know why I would find these peasant clothes in a building, though. Like, what, what would that serve the purpose of? Uh, was there someone I was supposed to talk to after grabbing those clothes, or, or what? Of course, that's that RPG Shrines again. Man, they really gotta redo their website. This looks like shit. Okay, so it briefly, briefly mentions it, but no, we can't, we can't do anything with it right now. The walkthrough even said so. So this is a, this is a quest later. I feel like it's probably part of the actual main game. Azado. It's a fucking weird name. I think Noda is kind of a weird name too. Ba, 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 da, da. Ba, ba. Kind of cool music playing. Here we're going to the fucking mountains, I guess. Cool, cool. Snowy mountains, it looks like. Did I ever go to a snowy mountain village in the first game? I don't think I did. Holy shit, it's blizzard. Welcome to the shining village of Zulon. At least that's what I'd like to say. But you've all shown up at a very bad time. Even though it's the end of the spring, Zulon is still buried beneath a thick layer of snow. Thick. -a -c 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 -a. I would suggest you turn back until our crisis is past. Okay. Boy, this kind of reminds me of that, like, village that's, like, frozen over and shit in um, Majora's Mask up in the mountains. Is that, that's what this kind of reminds me of. Ooh, weapon shop. I mean, I don't, I don't really have money for shit, but what do you have? Boy, it's chilly out there today, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to be saying that in a couple months here in Ohio. Tell me, what is it I can do for you? Oh, Frog, I, I heard you guys got, like, fucking um, six feet of snow. Over there? Uh, I think it was like a week or so ago, but that's insane, dude. Absolutely nuts. Oh, I got a golden mace here. It's heavier than it looks. Oh, then it's probably not really a golden mace, is it? Pardon? Not here? I thought New York City got a shit ton of snow. Like a week ago.
Oh, I'm sorry. It was it was Western New York. That's what. Like uh, talking about like Buffalo. I, I thought it was New York City. My bad. It was it was just like the west part of your of your state, Rock. Yeah, that was a week ago though. Nearly six feet of snow. Fucking nuts. Yeah, I was yeah I was thinking of I was thinking of Boone's area. That was my bad. Yeah, I got a golden mace here. Cannot afford it, but uh, I'll I'll get it when I can. <laughs> I like how it says heavier than it looks. Well, uh, you know, gold is actually not supposed to weigh a whole lot compared to like iron or steel, because it's not as dense as as those. We buy and sell armor in the shop. Nothing else. We're what you'd call a specialty shop. Thanks. Okay, got some kind of. Some kind of uh, fur robes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. One's a fur dress for Jean, and one's a fur robe for Lemina. That's kind of cute. Distinction. Silver helm. Lucky bandana. <laughs> the lucky bandana. It has a secret pocket for marked cards. That's very clever. And you got a silver shield. Okay. Again, I can't afford any of this shit. But it's there. Gold is almost as heavy as lead. Gold's atomic number 79 and lead is 82. That's cool. Well, do you want to play in the snow with me? Look at all the snow. We could play all day if you wanted to. Looks like a lot of fun, but we're in a hurry. We can play when you come back, all right? Oh, okay, it must be sad to be a grown-up and not be able to play whenever you want. I mean, it. it, it I mean, that does kind of suck. I'll be honest. It, it, it kind of blows. Kind of blows. I mean, I. Yeah, you know, I fucking wish I was getting fucking you know five hundred dollars a week or something, just for shits and giggles. Instead, I have to go to work, so it is what it is. Uh, mom told me that dad has gone to the blue star. Is that cool? She says he looks down from the blue star and watches over me. But it's snowing so hard that the blue star hasn't come out today. I wonder if Dad can still see me on days like this. Maybe. Do you see the child playing with my son over there? The one with the big scarf? The child's father was the last hunter in the was the best hunter in the village, and he was my best friend. He went to the mountains to eliminate the monster that has been tormenting our village. And that was the last time I saw him. I always regret that I didn't try to stop him. Sounds like a fucking man, bruh. Look at it. Just look at it all. I sweep and I sweep and the piles of snow just keep getting higher. I'll tell you what. I'm really glad I don't have to shovel snow. I'm really glad for that. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, they have, like, a, like a, 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 like a truck service or something that'll take care of the snow piles in the parking lot. Unless everyone in Zulon decides to help me, this village is going to be suffocated by snowfall. I don't know if that damn monster is controlling the weather, and I don't care. I just want it dead. This is just horrible. Maria and her husband have disappeared. The mirror says they, says, says they went to the mountains to gather some healing grass for their baby. They're going to die up there. And I don't want them to die. Yeah. Looks like there's a couple shovels here. Cool. Yeah, this is a cool, uh, this is a cool village, though. I like it. Uh, ooh, uh, I should never have gone to the mountains and tried to fight the monster. When he screams at night, the children of Zulon are so terrified that they can't sleep. The snowstorm is so bitterly cold that many of the children have taken ill, and the monster prevents us from gathering snow sprout grass in the mountains. What will we do? The mirror's upstairs, but I don't know if it's wise to disturb him right now. His daughter has gone missing, and we're, and we're all fearing the worst. We believe she went to the mountains to find medicinal herbs for her sick child. But that was before the onset of the snowstorm. She's trapped up there until it clears. And even if she manages to survive the cold, there's the monster of the mountains. Damn. 
If I were a little bigger, I would jam a spear down that monster's hairy throat. Then we could get those healing herbs for my friend, and she would wouldn't be sick anymore. Being a kid sucks. I want to help my friend, and I can't do anything. I mean, against a monster, an adult's not much better, bud. I've killed every kind of beast that lives in those mountains, most with my bare hands. But that thing is stronger than a hundred men. It smashed my ribs with a flick of its finger. And as long as it lives, Zulon will be trapped in an eternal winter, so I must fight it again. No, you mustn't. You're too injured to move, let alone to fight. Show sure enough. Let's maybe go see the mayor. Uh, that's definitely a girl's room. Look at all the hearts and there's a teddy bear there and, and girly shit. Also, that uh, that ball in the corner, doesn't that look like a butt? Looks like a butt just sitting there by the table. Or by the bed. I don't I, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Like a cushion, I guess, or a pillow. Uh plate armor? This might come in handy. Uh might who can put it on? Uh it's a little bit better than it's a little bit better than the than the iron armor. Oh shit, that's way better than um what Jean has right now. Maybe I should give the plate armor to her. Oh, but apparently, uh... Lemina can wear it too? Hmm. Just walk into someone's house and steal their armor. Way to go! Um... You do it too. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to give this... Oh, shit, that lowers her defense and wisdom. Okay, I think I'm going to give this to... I think I'm going to give this to Jean, because only her defense goes up. There's nothing that goes down. Plus, she could use the extra defense anyway. So, yeah. Oh, thank the goddess. She has heard she has heard my prayers and sent you to save us. Our village has been plagued by this, this snowstorm for many weeks, but this is not natural weather. A terrible creature has moved into the mountains above Zulan and has somehow triggered this blizzard. A group of villagers went into the mountains to exterminate it, but they failed. Some of them even lost their lives in the attempt, because they suck. And in the midst of this madness, my precious granddaughter was stricken with a terrible illness. My son-in-law left the village to find medicine for her. And it wasn't long after his departure that my daughter, Maria, follow, followed suit. She went to gather a special grass which grows only on the mountain above our village. It is called snow sprout grass, and while it doesn't taste very good, it has powerful healing properties. There has been no sign of Maria or her husband since they left the village. My son and daughter are missing. My grandchild lies helpless, and I am powerless. I'm begging you, please help us. Save this village. Save my child and grandchild. <laughs> I'm tired of helping people. Wow. Way to not give a fuck. Hell, that sounds like something Cloud would say, doesn't it? Like an emo bitch thing to say. Oh, you have no idea how happy you've made me. I'll make sure you receive everything you need. Hero, we are wasting valuable time. Our mission is to stop the revival of Zophar. What does it matter if we save a single village when Zophar can destroy the entire world? Uh, she's technically not wrong. It's not, it's not going to slow us down that much, Lucia. We'll slay the monster and be on our way. You don't understand, Hero. You cannot comprehend the terror of Zophar. If you are determined to help these people, I can no longer stay with you. My mission is too important. I will find Althene on my own. I suppose this is our goodbye. Thank you for your help. Okay, see ya. Wait, Lucia. Goodbye, hero. Selfish bitch. Lucia. I can't believe that Lucia would turn her back on these people and on us. We can't abandon these people. How can she be so heartless? 
The girl seems to have pressing business. I'm just glad you were able to stay. The monster lives inside a cave in the mountains to the north of Zulon Village. I wish I could tell you what to expect inside, but we only have no, but we only have vague details. Be careful up there. Okay. Uh. Well, shit, considering what time it is, I don't even think we're going to climb the mountain here. Uh, we'll talk to the rest of the villagers, though. I think there's a couple more here. It's almost the end of spring, and the village is still covered in a thick layer of snow. The earth is frozen solid, and I can't plow my fields to plant my summer crops. I wonder how I'm going to die. Will I freeze to death or starve to death? What's the first thing that went through your mind when you saw our village? You probably wondered if we're always this covered in snow, and the answer is absolutely not. We have harsh winters, but this snowfall isn't natural. It's being caused by a monster. I know how crazy that sounds, but it's true. Ask anyone else in the village, and they'll tell you. Uh, there's a goddess statue there. It's so cold this winter that my ice fishing business is about to go out of business. For now, I've decided to focus most of my efforts on my new fish fish cream business? Can I try a bite? It's just like ice cream except for a spoonful of skin rejuvenated fish oil. Yuck! Did it ever occur to you that there are some tastes which don't go taste great together? Opinions are like butts, little one. Everyone's got one, and nobody thinks there stinks. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a, I've never heard of that. That's a good one. Besides, you'll have to eat your words when I open a fish cream franchise in your hometown. Yeah, I doubt that'll happen. Ramirez asked you to go to the, into the mountains? I don't think you should. Everyone who's tried to fight the monster has been hurt or killed, and you'll suffer the same fate. Bitch. I'd like to see you stop me, little girl. I'll do what I want. Ooh, a chest. Starlight. Nice, nice. Are those... Are those sleds right there? What are what are those? Can't quite tell what those are. Uh, how about let's talk to you. Brr, my butt is frozen solid. Why is it so cold this winter? Zulon's winters are always long. They've never been this long or this cold. But why? Wait, I know. The pixies who start the springtime are playing hooky this year. Uh, was that a joke or are there actually pixies that that do that shit? I don't know. Look, all these snowmen I made yesterday still haven't melted. I've never had my snowmen last this long, ever. I'm the best snowman builder in the world. I would show you how to build a snowman, but then you just steal my secret. Well, at least she's having fun. Is this the... Uh, yeah, this is the tavern. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, come in, come in. Get out of the snow and let me show you my wares. Okay, so it's just the regular shit that we're used to seeing. Okay. I appreciate your patronage. I didn't buy anything, dude. Remember to shop here for all your supplies. Okay. Mm. You're going to kill the monster that's causing the snowstorm. Uh, yeah, whatever. The last group of villagers who went up there were slaughtered. And you're just a bunch of kids. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Hey, are you guys leaving the village too? Absolutely not, young man. I'm Lemina Asa, head of the Magic Guild, and I will liberate your village from the monster. You will? Great. That blue-haired lady left a little while ago, so I thought you were going to leave with her. Lucia. Hey, you guys are pretty cool. I'll wait, in, I'll wait here until you kill the monster, and I'll tell everyone how cool you are. But yeah, I'm going to block your path, just, just so you don't leave us too. Uh, have I been in this house? No, I don't think I've been in this house. Uh, I didn't want to talk to you twice, dude. What do we got here? My wife has a lot of spunk, but I can tell she's running out of hope. She can barely breathe. It's too cold for me to hike into the mountains and gather some snow sprout grass for her. We're almost out of food and firewood. We can only last for a few more days. Only this damn blizzard would stop, I could save her, but all I can do is watch her slip away. Damn. Cough, wheeze. You might not want to stand so close to me. I'm probably still contagious. The colder it gets around here, the sicker I get, and I've never been this, and I've never been this sick before. 
Well, why don't you just move to a warmer town? Because I'm always sick and I need the snow sprout grass that grows on this mountain above us. Damn. That sucks. Man, times are tough for these people. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to have to take on this uh, abominable snowman or whatever the fuck we're fighting uh, next time. Because I think I'm going to call it for tonight. Uh, I think I'm just gonna straight up raid uh, Moon if she's still uh, going right now. And I have a lot of tabs. Here. Go away. Go away with that. Yeah, Moon's, Moon's playing Dark Souls 3. I'm going to raid her. I think she's actually on the DLC now. I think. Yeah, that'll be all for uh, Lerna 2. Be playing some more of this... Thursday night, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.